Hello, it's Dee Dee, and I'm back again with another box. I know this is supposed to be some kind of a vlog channel, at least that's what I thought it was, but it's turning into an unboxing channel with someone who has no makeup authority in, at all. <laughs> that aside, I'm going to show you from Makeup Geek what I got. Um, I've been watching, again, a lot of YouTubers who are... Um, showing what they've been getting different places different resources and i wish i remembered her Anne. she's from new jersey um she was the first one that mentioned this too um that i heard it i'm trying to cover my address and i said you know what let me go ahead and why not spend some cash and throw some cash over there i believe this is uh one of the influencers um brands and here you can see my nails from london butter london the zodiac collection uh, Taurus and Capricorn Earl Grey and I forget what the pink one is called so inside here we have my little receipt which tells me that I have the 10, pa 10 pound $10 round pan grab bag uh, a $20 mystery box $50 mystery box it was packaged up by somebody whose name I cannot read what I have learned is that there's no definitive way to know what is what. <clears throat> so I did do some spoilers to myself besides Anne's channel. And again, I wish I knew the name of the channel. Um, she was trying to figure it out and I just was like, I can't be this not in the know. So I went on and saw a few things. Not that I'm 100% sure, but let's open this up and see what's in here. So it's all a lot of tissue. And everything is just up in here, just thrown in here. I don't see too much just the separation. So I'm going to try to separate based upon what I remember. Um, so that that way you can... That was horrible, right? That was so noisy. So I'm going to put this to the side where it's behind me. Behind me, magically behind me. And I'm going to take out some of the items. And it's like right on the top, there's these things as well as there are several oh I, I don't even remember I'm completely drawing a blank now wow this is bad so what I recall let me see is this the round ones no these are the round ones so what I recall let's start with that the ten dollar grab bag and what I recall you get this which is nicely bubbled together it doesn't say what it is on there it's just bubbled together and then there's a bunch of pan um uh, what do you call it pans in here and two of them go with the round so let me show you this they go with the round so they have the hole with the magnetic for the round pans so this I'm assuming is part of the grab bag because they switched over to from what I've seen the um, square pans so the thing is that you will get two of these which will hold eight but in here I'm pretty sure that it is nine. Oh, I'm way over to the side so I try yeah we need to get some no. We need to get some scissors? No, we're good, we're good. So this is cute. It comes packaged in the bubble, which is nice. And then, oh my god, it's also got some elasticized ribbon around it. And so I'll just take that off without untying it. And then you can see that there are some different types. There's foiled, so they have a different coloring. And then there are pressed eyeshadow pans for the rest of them so we get two four six eight two four six eight not oh i get not ten i got ten a lot of people have been getting nine two four six eight ten that's nice and the so there'll be two pans that don't fit quite in there so let me see if i can show you some of the colors I'm gonna just look at what they are now somebody was unpocketing um, these pocket change and they were having a hard time getting them out because of the plastic the way that they were so I don't know this didn't feel that bad so here we go with 
one of them this is one of them this is called pocket change and thankfully it has the name on the back and it fits right in there now how to get them out that's another story um so i might need to look that up if i ever need to do that so this is one pocket change goes in there then to build this little palette up i guess we'll look at this next one which is called spirited and again taking that out the pan is right there this has a little bit of a little bit of a shimmer and i think that that would go very close to the other one very close so i'm not sure what i put those should i put those two together hmm then we have something called so pale so pale is almost a creamy creamy color almost like a yellow tinge throw that bad boy right there you think I would like put these things back in their containers right just to get them out of my way easily so bad so bad so this is the first makeup geek that I've ever purchased I've never purchased before Tinseltown and prom night they seem very close to each other we have something else called embellished I'm trying to figure out what should be the next one here probably a darker shade that might go with it but this seems like it might be like a purple you know what let's try a blue let's, let's take them all out I know I'm looking down you seeing the top of my head because you know what I'm a mess so this is our surf surfs up nice little bluish gray and um I don't know should I put it in here with that one I don't know kind of on the fence I might just put it there then again not putting this other packaging away I probably should just throw this packaging out because honestly what am I gonna do with it I'm not gonna keep it this one's called summer loving nice little orangey pan you know and I think that it should go right there I think that looks nice together that's not bad again I'm not a guru so I'm just making it up as I go along and I think I'm just gonna throw these covers into the trash so look at the trash here so I don't keep turning around um then we have this one which is a nice dark brown this is called embellished and very dark very dark I'm gonna throw this next to the blue kind of refitting I think blues and browns can work together and now I have four other ones which may or may not all they, well they don't fit in there but I do have a Z palette upstairs in my house so I'm down in my basement that is um, empty that I could throw the last two in there and uh, that'll be cool so putting them down here this is a little more darker than this one I think I'm gonna leave these two back in their packaging that was Tinseltown the darker of the two and this is prom night and put that one back because I think what I'm gonna do is to go with and put in here I'm gonna take the foiled one which is called blue my mind blue spelled the color blue and this is nice this is really don't want to mess up don't want to mess them up like that foiled shade it's pretty I'll put that there and I will take this one which is cross fade let's take a look cross fade which has a purple purpley tone to it okay and I'll put that one in here I don't know if that's a good palette it's a very dark palette I probably should switch out something so let's see what might we do we can take out maybe take out this guy okay. and this is just a weeding tool from my other craft hobby and I think maybe I'll take the dark dark brown from here even though I said I like the browns and the blues 
and make that super dark and then have a light color here. I don't know. Tell me what you think about these combinations. Now, I don't know. Should I do the swatching thing? Let me see. Let's see. From the first palette, they are super small, super, super soft. And they do seem to have a lot of color. Well, not this white one. Okay. And then this one. So let's see here. So that first one, I wish I remembered the names. The second one, the creamy one. And the peachy one. I think together that's a nice little palette combination. I'm not mad at that. That's pretty good. All right. So now the dilemma is my fingers are dirty. So let me just do the unsightly thing. And so this is my first little concoction. I'm not gonna probably swatch these because I don't, you know, have no place to put them. I should though. Let's do this one with the other hand. Ooh, the foil one feels much thicker. Let's look at that. So we have this light blue. Oh, fallout and flaky. This goldy silver, that's nice. The dark blue, that's really pretty. And then the purple color, which almost looks like a brownish color. So those are nice. I like those too. They don't want to turn around, but I'm looking for wipes. And of course, do I find any? No, somewhere they are. I think I'm just going to have to use a plain old tissue. So, feeling wise, oh, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, feeling wise, I'm going to have to get up and get a white wipe. Excuse me. All right, <laughs> got some Target. <laughs> makeup wipes uh, that um, I got in a pinch because I was complaining about having some colors that I had used in another swatch in another video a couple of weeks ago a week ago and I couldn't get them off my hands for like no matter what I used the baby wipe washed my hands and my friend was like no you have to get makeup wipes and I guess there is should be some kind of thing liquid component in there but anyway um so i got some cheapy cheap ones and then i was sent some by said friend from sephora so i haven't opened those yet and so this blue is like sticking on me you can't really tell i rubbed it really right right it looks red but i still have a blue tinge and this is i don't know would you consider this spent i think it's spent anyway so I think I did a good idea with the way that I combined the colors. So I have a little bit of makeup on today. First time ever, right? Anyway. Um, okay, so this was the um, $10, ten grab bag. This is pretty sure that this was it. Most people that I saw online, they did get nine pads, uh, nine little browns, and two, ta two of these, um, what is this, Z palette type things. I got 10 so that was nice it could it said you could get up to 10 so that was nice um all right moving on let me see what I remember um and and right now I feel like I remember very very little I know that this was part of the 20 and I'm pr and I'm pretty sure that this was part of the $50 one um I believe this was also part of the $50 and there was a mask that was part of the $50 one. The Z palettes I think came with this one and now we've got a bunch of other things that I do not know. So I can be totally and utterly wrong at this point and for those of you with Ms. Ms. Mr. Polinia, sorry, let me put this on the side. Let's just look. So. <sighs> these came with I think the $20 one and then another pair of lashes came with the $50 pad so so far I know for sure that this was $50 pad, uh, $50 thing and then I think there was a loose pigment that came um, telepathic foiled pigment I think that came with the 50 and I think this one came with, which is called Kaleidoscope, 
came with the $20. I think this came with the mask. Again, I'm making it up as I go along. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm putting it in whatever spot I can think of. Um, the mascara came with the 20 The purple eyeliner. The navy eyeliner. And then the, there is a nude eyeliner. I know these two came together for most people. So then I'm assuming that the navy eyeliner came here. Again, and then there's a bunch of a, a bunch of colors of little quads and stuff. And so I don't think are there any repeats? No. Okay, that's good at least. So two four. So those go with the pad with these guys. And then there was a half hearted warm medium contour. So there's a contour powder. I don't have a palette for this so this will have to go into the Z palette over there so the sponges there's a black one and a, and a, and a purple one a raspberry one one came in the $20 this one came in the $50 one I'm pretty much a hundred percent sure of that then there's the graceful eyeshadow eyelashes that came there and then you have the Isabella 3d fink faux mink which are so and I am such a punk about uh, putting eyeshadow, eyelashes on. I really do want to because I have no eyelashes. Like I put mascara on and basically nothing happens. So um, these Z palettes, let's open these up. They um, hold three, no they hold four of the quads of the corner, not corner, square. That's the word I'm looking for, the squares. So, I don't know, I think for 70 this is pretty decent. I need to use to keep the bubble stuff around. And um, the pigments. So, let's look at the pigments first. Again, I think one in each. Um, and I've learned from watching that if you turn it over, look at that. It's like a pigment eyeshadow, but I guess you could use it. And I think for the most part you have to like have like a glue, some kind of glue, maybe not. I don't know. I didn't put any um, primer on today because I just quickly threw some makeup on. I was going to do the unboxing. I knew that I was going to come and show you guys what I got. But I was doing a podcast earlier with a friend of mine and that's part of the things that are going on in my life. Let me try it this way. And that doesn't help. And um, put the other color over here. Let me just go over to this top piece that has a bunch of it in there. Oh, this is nice. So, it's weird because over here I see it, it's purple. And I was telling my friend, and she was like, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, it's purple. And then this is like gold. And when I do this, this almost seems green and this seems pink. So, it must have a reflect in it. Let me try this. Purple in the... What are we... I don't even know how to move my hand. Look at that, so bad. Anyway, so you got one and one. So I think the purple one was with the $20 and the other one was with that. And now let's look at the eyeliners. So Makeup Geek Eyeliner Pencil. The crunching is my daughter in the background who, even though I'm recording, decides to make noise. And uh, let's see. Let's, let's put it over here. This is the navy blue. Okay, and uh, buffs out. So, I don't know how well it'll be after it sits for a while, which it's a nice dark navy color. And um, this one is what they call nude. And I'm assuming this might be a good color for the waterline. I tried to do a waterline today with white. It's not a bad color, you know. I don't know how it would play with other shadows, but I don't, I'm, I don't mind it. I like the nude eyeliner and uh, the last one is a purple it's just called purple so no fancy names on these navy nude and purple and it is purple let's put that over here purple right there navy nude and purple so nice colors nice tones so I know that the two came together in one of the videos so that must be the $50 one and the blue came over there the mascara 
extension effect mascara came with the two eyeliners pretty sure let's take a look at this nice well because I have black behind me nice wand I mean it feels heavy it has nice weight to it I like the, I like it I like it. it feels like it's worth something um so that was with the 50 and then with the 50 I believe was this contra powder which is the shade half-hearted it's a warm medium I'm not gonna take it out of here uh, oh I just scratched it up so I did what was happening so this is what's happening this helps you bring it out but if you don't push this all the way up you're gonna scratch and that's exactly what I did I scratched it but right now my channel is such a baby channel there's no me giving anything away because I don't have anything to give away <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a following I don't have I'm not a beauty channel by any way shape or form and so let's just put this contour over here see the color kind of dark I, where I hit it first it just like it's so can I smush it out I don't know I guess you know I don't know but uh, that's something that I want to do. I want to learn how to do like the contouring and all that stuff. But I'm so all over the place, you know, work, life, um, a lot of stuff going on. This is my time to just chill out, talk to you guys. Um, I try to say that instead of talking to myself, right? Talk to you guys and um, just, you know, play with something that I enjoy, which is I do like makeup and stuff I'm trying to get better at it I do want to do get ready with me and all of that good stuff but I have yet to do that and then you also get a um, makeup angled stippling brush I'm not sure I love brushes too part of makeup it says to wash it before you use it and uh, I forgot who said why wouldn't you me <laughs> I've been known to do that. I don't know. I'm not one of these people that thinks that things come like clothing. I have friends who like have to wash all their clothing. Um, they have to wash everything before they use it. I'm, I don't know. I'm not like that. I don't know if that makes me weird or whatever the case is. Um, and then this here is the next thing that was included in the 50, which is a nice mask. So let's see. Being that I got a big old head, let's see how it fits. Wow, it actually covers a good portion. It's comfortable. I can tighten it with these little plastic, uh, little plastic tubes that go down it. It doesn't seem like it's gonna come off. I wonder if I would get probably get. I still get, still get foggy. Look. But hey, I don't know if anybody's ever resolved that issue of not getting foggy. Um, it does have a wire in the top, so that's good. So you can see I can make it stay like that. Right? So this is nice. This is a nice little mask. So um, it's always good to have, like everyone's been saying, it's always good to have an extra or an extra few because you never know, you know? Things get dirty, things get messy. So with that said let's get messy with these guys here and let's see if I do a good job of making a combination here um, I see a lot of very similar tones I'm gonna start with this guy which is time travel and again let's see how this comes out if I don't mess this up again yeah it has that thing that brings it out and then oh this is interesting it's got like a double thing so it's like a bluish Yo, I'm a mess. It's like a bluish color. Almost like a green. Let me stick this over here. Let's build something and then we'll swatch it. Throw that out. What do you think goes with this one? Um, actually, let me just take this next one out, which is called Berry Shady. I like cutesy names on, on stuff. I, I think that's amusing. Um, and then we got this burgundy color we've got another color called Tuscan Sky which is 
very there's something going on with this what am I not doing right here interesting kind of has a tone of that kind of I kind of want to put it there though so that's Tuscan sky then we have something that says staycation so staycation let's get that guy out that has more of a pinky I think so I think I'm gonna put that guy there I don't know how am I doing I don't know tell me how I'm doing um, then we have a brown espresso espresso yourself it's a dark brown and I think this brown I think I had a brown before I'm gonna put it over here I don't want to put the browns and the blues automatically together so I think I need a really light shade here and I think I'm gonna go with maybe this guy which is called in the spotlight so I just checked my time and it's about 25 minutes in and I appreciate you if you're still here um this is called in the spotlight should I put that there well let's put it there for now we can always move it there's a lot more room to get your your pans out they're not like stuck in there like that round thing oh, there goes the the makeup enabler in my life that's her texting me um <laughs> so probably wondering what i've been up to because it's been a lazy sunday and she hasn't really heard from me um and let's see what she has to say because you know i'm gonna send her i'm gonna make this upload this video and then i'm gonna be like oh wow okay uh, hey, I'm ready. Hi, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Uh, oh, she has to go back to the building. She's a substitute teacher. We both teach at the same school, and they're having some teachers go back. And the ones who are on remote accommodation, like myself, we of course are staying remote. And um, she's a sub, and so she has to go back in the building, as well as several other in person teachers. So we're in New York City and it's kind of like freaking people out um you know having to have a mask on for eight hours straight is something very daunting to people i think i don't know if i could do it i could barely do it to just walk to my car to go to a doctor's appointment or something so yeah i i can understand her reservations in terms of that all right so i'm trying to mix and match here I think these two guys are too close in color to each other this is more of a pink doesn't really go with anything that's here per se um and these guys are so heavy dark I'm not sure but I think I want to take I think I'm gonna take out this guy here you know and I want to put that one. I feel like these have a relationship to each other. And these have not so much. So I'm going to take this one out of here. And I'm going to see. I'm going to put this one. Let's see. These guys look very close in color to, the, to me. I think I'm going to drop... Uh, this one maybe i need to drop that one and then you know what that's this is gonna be what it is so did i do a good job i don't know but when i do all four of them together let's see if i did all right no knows i don't remember the name so hopefully you know you can go back and see what the names were so let's do one finger two finger three finger they don't feel as soft except for this foiled one as the others so we've got the blue We've got the one next to that mauve color, the little bit of an orangey color, and then that shiny color. So what do you guys think? Do they work together? I don't know. I think the blue throws everything off. But again, you know, when you're getting a mystery box, they, they may not have been intended to work together, but that's what I got. So I'm trying to find a way to make them work together. So, um, yeah, let me take off this makeup from here see look at I me mean, wow this takes a while to get off it's either my wake up wipes are crappy or this makeup really does stay um wow anyway so all right almost done so there's this quad that i kind of created 
and stuff I like it I like the colors they're nice they may not go together so this is gonna be something that will supplement I guess your other palettes or you may be having to like velcro these bad boys together I wonder the magnet they don't magnetize to each other they stick nope too much going on all right let me do the last four and then I'll be out of your hair right um, why did I start there and then the brown no rhyme or reason. Do I have enough on each finger? Yes. Alright, this tan is still a little bit wet. So, we got that burgundy, that dark burgundy color, which is nice. That pinky foil color, that's really pretty. I would totally put those two together. This orangey, no, it's not even orange. Well, it's like a nude, it's a, definitely a nude next to the brown. Alright, so I think these two combinations here and here, they work. I think these could work together. So I'm kind of digging this palette right now. So this is nice. What do you guys think? I'm really liking the foils. They really shine, which is nice. So I think that is everything that I got from my Makeup Geek exploration for my first time purchasing. Do I think I would buy again from them? Right now, I gotta just use all the products that I have. I mean contouring is something new these pigments is you know go along with the eyeshadow um, I'm actually in the process of trying to like pack and you know move at some point so I might just wind up packing up all this and be like this is my new life new house kind of you know new adventure when that comes through so that's what I got I hope you enjoyed the look see a little bit of chit chat that I gave you and maybe you'll subscribe maybe you'll say you know hello by clicking the bell and clicking like it's all up to you i'm here to just you know vent have some me time with you time and you know if you come back that'd be awesome hopefully it'll grow hopefully i'll learn some stuff about this kind of stuff and uh you'll you'll visit me again so until next time see you later